Hello, welcome to uh, one of our worked exercises for the Python for Informatics Exploring Information book. I'm Charles Severance, and I'm your host for this worked exercise. As always, uh, this material is copyright Creative Commons attribution, and uh, you're welcome to use it. So in using these exercises, um, don't just start using these exercises because they make everything too easy. Part of the idea of a book is that we start with some easy exercises and you stretch your your skills with those easy exercises and then you know the exercises get harder and if you take all of the scaffolding all the supporting materials that we give you and take the easy way through the exercises at the beginning then the harder exercises will be so much harder than you won't you'll have less of a chance to make it so these early exercises are de designed to be easy try to use these exercise um, videos as the last way out okay this exercise assumes that you have Python installed, that you've installed your text editor, either Notepad or Text Wrangler or whatever one you like. Please set tab expansion. That's my little advertisement. Um, you learned a little bit about how to use the command line interface, how to create directories, how to navigate directories, and then how to run Python in the command line interface uh, interactively and interactively. And then how to use um, your text editor to edit and run Python programs. So. If you haven't done that, please go to www.pythonlearn and uh, click on the appropriate links to uh, get that all taken care of. So this is the first exercise that we are going to do in this particular exercise. And um, it's a variation on the classic first program where we ask the user for their name and we print out a simple welcome. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So. I've got some things in my doc to quickly start a text wrangler. And um, let me make the window size a little bit different. And also a terminal window. And I'll do my Python running in this terminal window. Now, of course, I'm doing this on a Macintosh, and I'm sorry about that. And hopefully, the other th you, you'll be able to translate in, in, these, in those first exercises. I'll try to tell you what would be different on a Windows box. So, of course, on Windows, this terminal is your command line. Many of the commands are different, some are similar. I'll tell you about them. Um, and here's Text Wrangler. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder on my desktop. I'm going to call that folder PY4INF. And then I'm going to make in that folder, I'm going to make another folder called. Oh, that's not. I'm gonna make this. Not gonna make this full. You say goodbye. I'll show you how to do this. So I'm gonna make a Python program in py4inf um, called Welcome. So um, I'm not gonna write the program. This is. I'm not gonna write the program, even though it's only two lines long. I'm gonna write a program that I know works, and I'm gonna make sure that I can get my Python to work. And so this is sort of an iterative development. Even if this is a simple two-line program, I'm going to start with a one-line program. And I will go into my desktop and find the folder py4inf. And I'm going to save this file as howdy py, howdy.py. Okay, now it's also the thing that you'll notice is that now that I've saved it with a py suffix, my text editor is smart enough to do text coloring. So it knows that print is a reserved word and hello world is a string. So if I, um, if I, if I for example, just made a mistake and I said hello space world, it would notice that the string stopped. And so it's, it's helping me with the pink know what's going on. So, so let me save this. I just saved it, so I'll do a... File, Save, Command S is my shortcut for that. And if I look at my py 4 if it's sitting there. Now in my command line, I got to go into the desktop folder. I did that cdd tab, and then to the py4, and then tab, because it does tab completion. And then in Windows, you would type dir, but in Unix, we will type ls. Now, to run it, in Windows, you would do something like c colon backslash python 25 slash python. Okay? This is not Windows, so I'm just going to type python. 
Howdy, and I'm typing HOW tab. When you get used to these things. So now I'm going to run it, and it says Hello World. So here's the output of my application. Okay? And so now another thing, another quick thing in terminals is you can hit the up arrow, watch, and I'll run it again by hitting Enter. So I don't have to keep typing this over and over. And even in Windows, it's a little yucky to type this thing. But, uh, you know, you just type it once and then hit up arrow and enter and up arrow and enter. And you can do it over and over again. Okay, so now let's write our, our first program. And um, what's that program supposed to look like again? Enter your name. Okay. So we are going to use the raw input function. I'm going to put my variable called um, LMNOP. That is a very bad variable name. It's a very non mnemonic name, but it's to emphasize that it's a variable. Raw input is the function that takes as its parameter, as an argument, enter your name. Close parenthesis. So now I'm going to save this file. I just leave the hello world in here. Save the file. Well, I'll use my shortcut save. And now I'm going to run it again. I'm going to say Python howdy.py. Oops, that's not what I was expecting. It's complaining that um, I have an end of line while EOL, end of line while scanning unclosed string literal. Boy, this is turning out to be harder than I thought. Oh, but look here. See the pink parenthesis? I forgot my quote, close quote. So now I'll save that. And I'll use cursor up to run it again. Enter your name. Ah, now that doesn't look so good. See how it's jamming the enter your name there? Am I supposed to put a colon there? I'm supposed to put a colon and a space. Okay, so let's take a look. I need to put a colon and a space there. So let's go back here. Colon and a space. And that will make this look a little prettier. And I save the file. And I run it again. Enter your name. Chuck. Now it works. Okay. Make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So we're seeing it. Okay. But now it's not saying hello world. It needs to say hello Chuck. Now Python, when you're putting things together with a comma on a print statement, it actually adds the space for you, so we won't add the space inside the string. We could add a space inside the string, but then we get two spaces. And then I'm just going to put the variable name, L-M-N-O-P. And I'll save that. There we go, and it works. Now. What if I made a mistake here? Let's just make another mistake. I should probably make more mistakes. I'm going to call that LMNOQ instead of LMNOP. So it kind of works. But blammo. In line 2, right, LMNOQ is not defined. That's because this variable, I put it in LMNOP as the variable name, but then I pulled it back out of LMNOQ as the variable name. And I can look at the line numbers. If you look down here, this is the line number, and then I can quickly go find the line. Okay? So let's go fix that, Elemental P, save it again, cursor up, run it, enter your name, Chuck, works. So now I've got this particular assignment finished.